This episode of Super GG Radio is brought to you by our Patreon. Patrons of the show can get our Dogs of Super GG Radio newsletter, Super GG Radio stickers, a slap on your closest PC or bag, input on what we cover, game nights with the hosts, and even a chance to win a copy of an indie we talked about. Not only that, but 90% of all patron contributions go to the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Visit patreon.com slash superggradio to learn more. What's good, Internet, and welcome to session 200 of Super GG Radio, where friends chat about video games all things adjacent. One thing we love at Super GG Radio is them theme episodes. So back by popular demand, this is the 200-ounce episode, where we're going to be consuming 200 ounces of... Wait, hold on. Okay, so I guess no individual person should consume 200 ounces. That would be a lethal dose of fluid. So I guess we've got four hosts tonight. So everybody's got to drink at least 50 ounces, unless somebody wants to man up here. No, nobody I've wants to man it up. To. Yeah, man. All right, I fine. Really, Alex is going to take a I've bullet. Done, uh, 20 so far. I've shotgunned this Monaco here, this uh, Blue Crush premium mixed drink. They're not All right. sponsoring us. Vodka. Mm-hmm. What? What flavor is that? Blue it's blue flavored, flavored right? Gin, rum, tequila. No, it's blue flavored. Ooh, yeah. The burn going down. What's blue taste going like? Down. Once again. All right, so everybody can drink forty ounces of the beverage of their choice. No, no holds barred. And I'll, I guess, I'll be your host this week, Eric Getty Gettinger, and I'll be drinking forty ounces of whatever's in this generic green bottle that does not have a label, <laughs> Joel. There's nothing to tie this to anything. Or confirm or deny what's inside of it. <clears throat> uh, can't confirm or deny, I said. All right, so I'm going to open this thing, uh, and I'm going to kick it over to uh, Alex. Oh, okay. You. You, you saw, you, there was a question. Again, you're Ron Burgundying it pretty hard. You've already missed one word. <laughs> no, no, I'd, I'm just going to kick it over yep, to whoever right. I say now. I'm the best around, and I could totally drink 200 ounces in under an hour. I would pee 27 times, but I could do... I might as well, like, not leave the toilet and just chug while I pee. You would die. Legitimately, you well, would die. for legal reasons, I'm Alex Arona, and tonight I am drinking... Uh, well, I've already <laughs> drank that Monaco. I've already shotgunned a Red Bull. For I, legal reasons. I want to make clear, under no condition am I willing to do a podcast while somebody's on the toilet. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jokes on you. Talking about. <laughs> so got, my chair's just got a hole in it. All right, so Monaco, Red Bull, those were the warm ups. <laughs> now I got this 40 ouncer here. This, this tall, this, this big beauty here. I'm going to call it the big beauty. That's going to make everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> what's what's the yeah. label on there? It's also been scratched. Well, you off. said we can't have labels. So this big beauty is unlabeled. And I'm going to keep calling it big beauty because it's going to make everyone uncomfortable. And then as a nice little there we go. aperitif, a nice little like finish up i got this uh this uh i'm not gonna put that label on there uh <laughs> an iced mm-hmm, tea mm-hmm. that is alcoholic oh, named after a golfer and you should get a roll of duct tape I and do that maybe break, cover that up absolutely do that during the break yeah definitely gonna have a break <clears throat> great Grinks. Th- thanks for uh Hold being on. a host i guess alex i don't know there we go let's get that in the microphone all right now now things have really started a Joel, Tonight what do you got? I'm drinking uh, Dark Lager from Moore Brewing Company. It's an it's an Illinois business. It's not a national chain. It's okay. <laughs> small business. Promote small business. Re- relatively speaking. Uh huh. And come on, Joel. And your full name for the record. <laughs> Read the line. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to introduce you by your last name this week. That's fine. Uh, I like this uh, cold open idea, but I don't know how you guys are doing with it. So, um, Alec? Well, I wish I were drinking 40 ounces of coffee, but instead I'm drinking two pints of Skeleton Key Winter's Bone. How often do you have night coffee? Oh, all the time. It's... He drinks decaf sometimes. Yep. Mm. Alex's in it for the flavor. I am. 
Mm. Does that beer take you I, to the bone zone? It does. It goes straight I to the bone zone. I was on the same, zone. Getty, me and you were on the same page. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely like that. Uh, before we jump in, here are the rules. you got to finish your 40 ounces before the end of the episode, otherwise you're pounding it. And we all watch you and laugh. It's going to hurt. Th- this is, this <laughs> Joel, is too I'm heavy looking at you. <laughs> then you should have thought about this. You, you had better. days to prepare. 40 ounces you of know, whatever been, you brought. You could have brought water. I've been water. stomach room, and, and you, I've been doing my homework, guys. I've been eating uh, nice big meals. It's like preparing for like those hot dog eating contests. Oh, you got to work your way cool. up to it. The, the Asian guy that could do hot dogs. You could have had 40 ounces of Sleepy Time Poggers. <laughs> that was the original you plan. Know? was all of us just take Sleepy Time Poggers. That was the original idea. You know. Yeah. It, it just... Just so you know, at checkout, use Good Game for ten percent off your order. That's Poggers. Drink Poggers. We have that. <laughs> is it, it Poggers dot com? Drink what's, Poggers what's their, uh, com. What's their oh, slogan? Drink po- uh, also, Poggers. No, Poggers dot com is a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Drink Poggers dot com. Good Game is your offer code. Let's do this. How about her? Good Game. <clears throat> is that all one word? Doesn't matter. I'm moving on. <laughs> No, it's a good episode, it does matter. <clears throat> oh, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. We haven't really gotten into the thick of things cool. yet. <laughs> I think we're all in trouble here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those nights. Okay. Uh, yep. So try not to fall behind. Uh, and we are going to beat up the beat and early adopters find a redeeming quality with the news. Ha ha. That's not going to happen. And then wrap it all up finding out how fish is made. I feel like that was a reference oh, to a game. Oh, I, Alex I forgot played, about that one. Yeah, but... let's talk about that one. Also, I'm a third down my forty. I'm gonna keep giving updates throughout the episode. <laughs> we didn't even make nope. it to early adopters. Perfect. All right, now we did early adopters, where we play alphas, betas, and uh, games for basically the last four years to trick you into playing them with us. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's how tracks. long we've been doing this. Yep. 18 years? 18 years. It's legally... Yeah, let's, let's just move on. Uh, I don't know which one you guys want to start with, so I'm going to do Wind Swept. We played Wind Swept this week. I like ducks. I like turtles. I, I like turtles. <laughs> this game Can has both of those things. this game has the balls to say, hey, let's be cute. And chill. That's what this game did to me. It said, "Hey, man, why don't you just like relax and just not think too hard and not, not you know not be too difficult." Hey, man, you want to pick up this turtle and, and throw it into jump. the air? Also, yeah. you die. No worries. You want to do it again? Cool. Mm-hmm. Low stress. You are a what a duck and a turtle, and you have the ability to like spin. Mm-hmm. You do a, a a spinning lariat to attack, and then. The turtle, you could actually throw him like a Mario shell. All pretty cool stuff. You, yep. So this this would qualify as a what we we love to say like here. So it's a Donut Mario like country like. Just there's kidding. A, Side a, scrolling platforming. There's a genre for this. This is a character <laughs> what, platformer. There you go. <clears throat> That's the technical term. But Joel, I'm sorry, no, I, I cut you off. Actually, go ahead. Donkey Kong Country is the closest thing I got to. I think it's the fact that you can actually play predominantly as one or two of the other characters. Uh, each of them have their yep. different move sets beyond their jump and uh, sort of glider dash. So some of the obstacles you will need to be the bird picking up and throwing the turtle and then jumping on the turtle to propel yourself up. Uh, there's some where mm-hmm. you have to play as the turtle and then have the bird throw you upwards to reach certain obstacles and they have their different feel too. the turtle definitely feels feels heavier by a stretch uh, compared to the the duck Mm -hmm. but if if you lose one you can go on and you'll usually run across what was basically like the the barrels in donkey Kong country where you hit it and the other character pops back out it's a cute little bubble this time and i it's all the better for it in my opinion that it's like baby's first Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> <Just> that, <laughs> that game is hard. And 
Yeah, even the bosses in this weren't particularly challenging. You just had to... Uh, we only got one boss, but you wait for it to shoot. Eventually, he lets his guard down. It's an octopus. And you just boop him on the head. Didn't take too much effort. It's cute, too. I really like the character design in this. The Even for how simplistic it is, you get a lot out of the duck, in my opinion. He's definitely got some attitude. Quackitude. Some quackitude? Yep. Can we use that? I mean, when you beat the level, the turtle puts on some sick shades... <laughs> like bops out at the end and, and they have that fun end goal thing where like mario world they've got the uh banner that you have to jump into. flag this one it's almost like one of those carnival games where you hit the hammer and then it, the bell raises up except it's a pinwheel a colorful pinwheel and depending on how hard you fall on it is how high it goes but it, it was a nice sort of fun piece of the puzzle that for anybody who lights those 2d platforms like mario it it's the right kind of exclamation point at the end of a level. Now, you mentioned Mm -hmm. that we can basically go through with either one, but each character does have their own special ability. The turtle has a ground pound, and the duck flaps and falls slowly. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 And you got the spinning lariat. You have uh, have a couple other things, too. That, That was the one thing I will say is that they kind of give you, they do a really good job of tutorializing you. So they say, oh, okay, here is, yeah. if you, you could put the turtle on your back, and that's cool. But also you could jump with the turtle on your back, even cooler. You can also throw the turtle up on the air, and that'll double jump you. And it's like, But each one is a different input. Mm-hmm. So it's like X to put him on your back. A to jump, Y to throw. And it's like, oh, okay. Eh. Well, okay, I get it, and that's cool. It's very cool, and it works. But at the same time, I'm, I'm also like, Okay, which button does... Okay, I gotta put it in this? Or, oh. Yep. I did that, too. I When you move over to that spot of the map, it does it in succession, so you can yeah. see which one it is. And uh, I definitely sat there and I played with it for a bit, trying to figure out, okay, so this is... And then it, one of them switch characters, so you can switch back and forth and then get a feel for, okay, this is what it's like to have the duck on the turtle's back and then switch it back and be like, okay, now I'm... Uh, the other way around. <clears throat> yeah, so it gets a little crazy. Yeah, these fluids are getting to me already. <laughs> so refreshing. So skunky. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can. can you smell it from there? <laughs> it's also skunky. So, <laughs> wind, wind swept is a really it's it's pixel art. It's simple. It's it's very. It, I, you know, I'm trying to fight not saying simple and clean because then all I hear is Kingdom Hearts songs, but just in general i feel like they do they do enough to to like make it make their point of what they're trying to do they get their idea across without forcing a lot of extra stuff they just like well you know remember the 90s and these remember diddy like you said remember diddy kong that was pretty sweet right cool well here you go and i like i like some i like certain certain games when they just put it out there and say hey remember this go nuts i played one last year at the end of the year called super kiwi 64 and that was just what felt like a Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and it was only like two hours long. And uh, for that case, I just kind of was like, oh, yeah, I get this. I get This makes sense to me. It's very pixel art. And, uh, not pixel art, but it was like that, that game, Super Kiwi 64, is very like polygonally rendered 64-looking game that, d- that has like a couple abilities. You collect piece, puzzle pieces, you move on. And in this case, it's, you know, two characters you get some double jump abilities you fight some enemies you move on and i like that i like i like that it doesn't need extra bells and whistles it does enough to stand out and i'm into it mm-hmm. what do you think guys this one a keeper list me too me three. Ooh, hey, clean yeah. sweep tonight weird Usually somebody's got some sass in their frass. That person's usually you, Getty, especially last week. <clears throat> last week no, was you so can't. Sassy. Nope, nope, can't say that. Nope, can't can't say any of that. Why don't you take a drink? I'm take a drink. Halfway. I'm almost. All right, halfway. I will. Thanks, Alex. Mm-hmm. But you know what else we played this week? It's not World for the Dynasty? faint of heart. Rhythm World storm. Dynasty. Wub, 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 wub. 
Uh, Rhythm so is, Storm. So this is a little bit of a departure from what I normally was pick. Actually but sweeping yeah, Alex hit me. A lot of people are talking about it in the fact that it's like a really good Twitter GIF. Like it really like in just a GIF form, you look at that and go, "Wow, this is wild looking." So it's actually getting a lot. This takes it's getting a lot of yeah, like high press from it. Takes, also, people uh, saying that it like it, if you put everything on high and you get like a really good run, it pretty much melts your PC. So, like you put you put this bad boy at 4K and your whole thing's freaking out. It's like the uh, most. So, I don't know if it's effects. because I'm Love running on that. Linux, but mm-hmm. I couldn't do this all on high uh, in full screen. I couldn't even do it on low in full screen. I had to drop into windowed in everything. <laughs> yeah, I think really? it's because I think it's because it was uh, running through Proton instead of direct Windows calls. Well, also, what what uh, what video? Wow. Do you have? I don't know, one that runs everything else that I throw at it? <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he, he gets by. Can you do Miles? Alex, you know the answer Spider-Man to that. At, like, he gets by. At full? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, this should be fine. Should. Say, yeah. Yeah. But why isn't it? Don't know. What I do know is that this is a Joel joint, if I've ever seen one. Now that I know that he likes also, Vampire what Survivor. That, what, was that, what was that game on, th- on the Xbox called? Geometry Wars? There Which one? Everyone also calls it ah. Geometry Wars. Like the Geometry Wars look like. But you just manipulate your tank, whatever you select at the beginning around the stage, and it automatically fires, pick up upgrades, and uh, progressively more and more waves but, but show getting, up. So it's got some rogue elements to it. button press. What? Oh, you do get a button <laughs> press. So that you can ultimate and then melt everything around you until it levels up and you can't do it anymore. Because enemies will also progress and level as you continue on. This uh, this is kind of fun, and I could see the one more round oh, yes. coming in. I was totally playing it right before we recorded. There you go. I, I just love the sheer audacity of that screen. It just like, Again, I, I, I have not played... I have not There's played a lot going high on. Level uh, vampire survivors. I've, I'm not. I'm not any level of you guys, but at the same time, this got to that level fairly quickly. Like I played for, you know, my first run was 15 to 20 minutes, and it was just like I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at anymore, and my eyes kind of <laughs> hurt. And like I'm kind of squinting a and lot. And that beat. I'm squinting because it's really bright. There's just so many things on screen. I can't see my character anymore. Mm-hmm. And then, and then I'll yeah. The, there's techno playing kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Like when I, the fact that I have to go, oh, that that's way too bright, and it doesn't go away. <laughs> you know, like, okay, okay, it's it pretty good. It's it pretty good. It's intense. It's intense. Joel, what did you think of this as a as the vampire survivor? Uh, yeah. Person. Well, he does. He does run on the wall, so I didn't want to stop you. Uh, I want to note that Rhythm Storm's description is a road light bullet heaven. Uh, my, my understanding <laughs> is that the term used to be bullet hell, but uh, I, I appreciate the a more uplifting tone of that. I, I think you guys have covered the aesthetic of it pretty clearly. Everything sort of pops with big, almost firework light explosions as you hit them. And everything is a, a heavy, deep neon, whether it's the level structures or the enemies. From what I saw, the, the enemies mostly come in as like shapes so it'll be uh, triangles. circles triangles rectangles octagons stuff like that it, it's very very uh the descriptive wise it's like non it's non-descript right right because it's very mostly just very basic shapes and things it's yeah shapes on a screen and right. explosions and, 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 uh, and even the yeah, menu kind of has this almost like computer overlay look like your Iron Man or something, but it's the gameplay itself. It, it it is reductive to say it's Vampire Survivors. Yeah, structurally it is pretty much the same format. You're moving. You're not shooting. You're the <laughs> added button where you have the uh, electric shooting out of you and around everything, which is by the way a very satisfying feeling <laughs> when you're able to shoot that off and just hang oh, hang on to perfect. it for like five seconds and see a branch out and melt everything around you it's it's your, your spe- oh shit your, button your special because once as you kill enemies 
and then it just it just get a meter, and then the meter or, ticks down if you hold the button down, and you just shoot electricity all around you, decimating everybody around you. Or you can level into a tree, which is completely random, what pops up whenever you level up, that gives you a gain of your special Kirby. meter over time. So one, yeah, one at one point I had to at least 1.5. I got lucky on that run because I kept coming across that one. But you can only level it so many times. Uh, but lots of diversity in the power-ups that you can collect. So how, how far did you guys get playing through this? Like, how long did you last? I want to say my farthest one was a wave 15, 16. Okay. The first one that I did, it was under whatever the base... It, it, in the menu, there's unlocks, and it's like, hey, get this much. I think it was 10,000 experience, yeah. maybe. My first run was a 2,000, maybe 3,000 experience, and then the second one, I completely crushed it, and I got to that point where I got more unlocks. What the unlocks did, they are not uh, playable in the demo, so I really wish I could have tried some of those, but... <clears throat> limits you in a small way because it feels like it's so complete already. What about you, Alex? And I don't remember Alec. how far I made it. Wait, Joel. I, I, honestly, I was having, I was having fair. problems tracking everything on screen. So I was like, Oh, and then it's like, Oh, you died. Ah. And I'm like, did I, I don't, I mean, yeah, probably sometime in there. I don't know. I, I don't know how that <laughs> happened. I couldn't tell. Because when that shield goes, it's just like, oh, you don't have a shield anymore. Better pick up invincibility tokens. Yeah, that, like, I did that oh, once, and then like, I was like, okay, good. And I still can't see anything, and everything is exploding around me. And then they're like, oh, by the way, oh, you lost your shield again. I'm like, I, okay, you you probably know better than me, game. <laughs> I just kept moving, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're dead. And I'm like, I guess, okay, you know, fair. It, it does have that vampire survivor problem where you die... And then you can respawn or go without your shield, but you're still in the thick of the thing that killed you. <laughs> so it's it's a real climb yeah. to get back out to a, a survivable state there. Uh, what was funny is actually the longest I lasted was about nine waves. And that time, what I did was I just picked the weapon that is like a single shot, like more direct shot. I upgraded my movement speed of the actual cursor firing, and then I just sat still. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was able to get about really? four waves through before I had to start moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So really? I must have picked the right uh, connection there to, to give me a good head start. But huh. but I appreciate a game like that where you can kind of tweak things and just see what you can get away with, and, and this is definitely one of those. I didn't play like that. I hope that everybody had a unique experience with this. Personally, I did the rotating shield and then the try yeah. shot whenever okay. I could. I did the rotating shield and then I did something else. I did I did not do the try shot for sure. I, I got as many shot. weapons as I could. <laughs> you guys did the drone? <laughs> yep. I missed the drone, yeah. no. That, that That's a fun one. You unlock the drone yeah, at some at, point, uh, I want to say? Yeah, 5,000 experience. Yeah. That's, okay. That's why. So, what do you think, guys? Pretty good betas this week? Oh, they were Okay great. betas? Somebody made some good choices. On a scale of 1 to 200. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to rank this episode's betas. I'd, I'd rank it a good 164. Good luck. I would say 50% of this 40 ounce is what I would rate it. <laughs> You don't have to answer this. This was totally hypothetical, but I can already feel, uh, yeah, we, uh, quick, Alex, jump on my back and I'll throw yeah, you into a break. Do it. Hey news, 200 segments, which means we're officially common law married. Woo! Is, is, that, is, is that, that legit? Is that how it works? You and the news get a room already. <laughs> I have no idea. I think, I think it depends on your state. <laughs>
Oh. Well, I'm in the state of yeah. denial. Yeah. Yeah. I got it in first. Very nice. the air. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Punch in the air. Oh, where's Chris Zach when you need him? <laughs> Not on this podcast. We gotta. Get, we actually need to oh, officially man, get him on an me. episode instead of me just calling him one time and saying, "Hey, man, get your microphone. Let's go." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> having him Skype in. All right, news, 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 news. Uh, I'm not reading. <laughs> Getty, that. read the Starfield news. <laughs> Fa- Phantom Brigade goes 1.0. This is a game that Alex. Yes, and reviewed. I think that a lot of you guys would like this game as uh, you uh, like mechs, you like virtual on, but you also like strategy games. If you put those things together, XCOM like with some cool virtual on mechs and a global initiative to save the world. I don't know. I think that's. I think that's. A I don't know, man. I saw that Front Mission is ten percent off on Switch Store, so well, I might Front just Mission do like that. XCOM. I don't know a lot about Front Mission. It is more like XCOM than. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's more like right, XCOM well, than you, you think. think uh, Phantom Brigade Brigade is a probably a newer version than Front Mission because Front Mission's old. <laughs> get with the new new. I don't game. care. I I did wish list this. I saw them. You can't make me on Twitter. It looks pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, that's good. But can you target different parts of the Absolutely. mech that you're attacking? Okay, so yeah, it is Front Missiony. Okay. Next piece of news: Contraband Police goes 1.0. Fun fact, Joel and I did a beta breakdown yeah, for yeah. Contraband Police, oh, two years long? ago. <laughs> I don't know. You I'm just making shit up. You can find it on YouTube.com <laughs> at uh, YouTube.com slash at SuperGGRadio. We have at, web presence. At, at symbol. All right, no, somebody I'm, Google I, it. I know for a fact it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have it up I right now. I'm, I'm watching glad it. they generate their links for positive readability that's mm-hmm. that's much appreciated yep youtube.com slash at Super so that Super one is very fun if you enjoy work like games especially it's like, pa- it's like papers please <laughs> Just, except you can crash a train into people and it's third it's, it's fully like first person 3d animated and it was one year ago hmm. yep was it <laughs> it felt like forever ago because we we had yeah. fun with that one it, you have to go around and check mark every single box. It's like, all right, what's wrong with this car? Headlights brust, busted up, uh, flat tire, and these people are just driving through a Take checkpoint. Like a it's ridiculous. Pull up the hubcaps and the drugs pop out. <laughs> yep, that's how I Time like my construct. games. <clears throat> <laughs> Jeez, fits in <laughs> casually. Wargroove two. Has been announced. How many of you guys played Wargroove One? I wanted to. <laughs> Just me. What's a Wargroove? Man, uh, it is a it is a uh, uh, fire emblem like. No. No, it's Advanced more. Wars. Uh, yeah, Joel already said Advance Wars. You have bases. You generate troops. You have a commander that is present on the battlefield, though. And it gets so crazy. And music themed. Okay, I think that's good enough. Cities Skyline two announced. I don't know Sin this City. one. What Why? is this? C- uh, City Skylines came oh. in. Well, no, he's right because um, when <laughs> like. Sim City, the most recent Sim City, which was a long time ago, uh, I'm trying to look up the date, came out. It was like it 2010 was, or something. Yes, and yeah. it was universally panned. It was. Sim, Sim City? City? People were really upset by it. No, the no, original. No, the, it no, was the even latest further one. than so that. The latest one <clears throat> was 2013. Oh, okay. So, like, the original, if I remember right, okay. the, the original are obviously, like, open Ten sprawling. Ten years ago. 1989. As as you can, right? That one, I the latest one. one, tried to make it to where you had your own city, but you could only have so much real estate space, and then you were co-joined by other people's cities. And you had to like work with other people's cities to get resources to build and grow. And it was oh, it was what if I don't like other people? Everybody, everybody else are like you then, because it did not sell. It was <laughs> online only. You had to be online. You had to work with other people, or else it didn't work, and they would just limit you. 
Yeah. So you. because of that, SimCity has kind of never recovered. The EA has kind of said that they don't want to deal with it anymore. And so as a replacement, an indie dev created uh, City Skylines, and it is the full sprawling hmm. version of SimCity. And now, and like it's got a budding mod scene that they have like a full browser. You could just add mods and other cities to it as much as you want. Now they just announced they kind of. It was really like low key that there's like, oh, by the way, City Skylines two. So people got really excited. <clears throat> Great. Uh, next piece of news: Golden Girls JRPG. Yes. LOL. <laughs> a week ago. Uh, a week yeah. ago, <clears throat> we missed it on the last week's news. Last week's news, uh, man. This is I'm having a real Who tough time it? on this forty here. I'm you know, seventy five percent in the way. <laughs> I know between you and me, <laughs> it's not looking good. Do a typing test real quick. Just see. I can do this. Uh, Persona type RPG dead. where you play as the Golden Girls. There's a full trailer. It's called the Golden Girls Take Manhattan DX, and playable demo in the. Uh. Uh, it was supposed to have a playable demo in 2021, but it has not happened yet. But they are—they just released a trailer for it. You play as all of them? Do you like what fight I off mean, hobos? Getty, what was with you and always wanting to fight hobos? Like there, there's a lot of good games out there where you fight hobos. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that away from me. I'm not the one Getty, making the games. Okay, I'm just playing well, them. Well, the great thing about <laughs> fighting hobos is that nobody cares about what happens to them. Plus, it's like, they really, like, we gotta get, <laughs> oh gotta get out of here. I'm so, <laughs> <wrong> <laughs> game so bad. Get us out of here. Ponkle Games says Vampire Survivors 2 unlikely, and why would they need to? They can just keep adding on to Vampire Survivors, yeah. the original. Yeah. That's all I'm saying oh, about it. Because now I need to say the Diablo 4 beta access is available by purchasing the KFC yeah, Double Down. let's go. Oh. Double Down. <laughs> no. Like you needed more nope. of a reason to eat a Double Down. Now you're... I've never, never what felt compelled to. Oh my God. Don't tell him. Oh my God. Make him oh, Google it. Make him Google it. I'm going to tell him about the KFC <laughs> no, Double Down. I gotta think What's the next news? Okay, Wait, Joel, don't tell him. Imagine, send him a picture. Imagine a bacon, a picture. bacon and cheese not sandwich, but instead of bread, it's two pieces <laughs> of fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, that bacon ain't crispy. <laughs> yeah. It's real greasy and floppy. <laughs> it's The whole thing is you a know, soggy experience. You don't need to eat the double down to dip the beta code. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's real <laughs> I haven't been this disappointed since college. <laughs> it definitely is a way if you want to, like, cut a couple years off your life. Uh, what, they they did the math on the KFC shame bowl, too. Doesn't that cut a I year off of your life? I slow when I've, done, when I've eaten that thing. It's just mashed potatoes, chicken. gravy, and then they sprinkle some corn and on there to make tenders. you feel better. Oh, and popcorn chicken. chicken. Tenders. Yeah. Give me them chicken tendies. Gotta have so that. So you mean I shouldn't make those with my Thanksgiving leftovers? You absolutely should. Oh, shouldn't. no. I'm sure that whatever you're making in your house is better <laughs> for you than this. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. It's all just grease. All right, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League delayed due to fan backlash. That would be due to them saying this was going to be a, a that, live service game. People saw that trailer, and the trailer did not bolt. That did not <clears throat> go well for people. Seeing a Destiny-like shooter with some of these characters that don't necessarily like, like, like giving Captain Boomerang flash powers is like weird. But then also giving King Shark just like a big mini gun is like also weird. It just felt like a lot of like stuff tacked on that wasn't necessary, and because of that, it just yeah. it, it really like hit the fans in a poor way. So because of that, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, especially with like, oh by the way, everything is cosmetic and it's also equipable looter shooter, Destiny stuff, and everyone just kind of went, oh, yeah. Why would you need that when Destiny just released and a new also expansion? And Avengers just <clears throat> came and died. And also Arkham Knights just came and died. You know what I mean? It's like, why would you keep doing this? 
Yeah, when Destiny 2 is already out there. Why do you need anything else? I don't personally know anybody that wants anything from Rocksteady other than another game that plays like Arkham series. Like, that, that's... That's it's, the that's dream, the buddy. That that wants. I think we have hit the point of, like, real heavy diminishing returns on the, on the looter shooter genre. I mean, I think the last one that kind of came and stayed was... What's the anime one we were talking about, Joel? The one What's that's the anime, anime one? Breath of the Wild. Oh, Denshin Impact. Genshin Impact is the last yeah. one I think that came and has like a really solid staying power. And I don't think that anything since everything kind of coming has been going. Hello, like what was the what, what was the we played <clears> the <throat> one that we your Iron Man in the suits. We all Anthem. played that Anthem. We had a laugh about Anthem. that. Now GameStop won't take my copy. They said we are not allowed to buy this one back. Yeah, they... nobody wants this game. Now I'm stuck with a cop. I'm stuck with a oh, copy. It's not even. You can't even log into that game anymore, right? Because it's, it's dead. dead, dead. That's too. I had fun with the hour we played of it. Yep. It wasn't that well, I bad. Think, I, I think what you guys didn't it realize was very is that we were, Destiny, almost, we were but... mostly done with all the content. And that'd be fine. I paid like five bucks for it. <laughs> That's the point. It was a six. Yeah, it's not like I broke the bank. Man, let me tell you, you should just go play Destiny. I think the last expansion was given away free on playstation network last month could have gotten some witch queen and then the new expansion came out like a week yep. a week two weeks okay, ago how maybe it? two weeks ago it? you know yeah, that i it? already did I actually i actually did I not know that you'd already did and i was smiling you. so much well you get you just like a taste here and there of the new power and it is so satisfying I was smiling. I couldn't uncontrollably smiling. I was like, <laughs> yeah, "This you is want me stupid." To hook you good. Up with my uh, with my neighbor, you just like who, uh, he plays it religiously. He's really high level. He's also the guy that thinks nine eleven was an inside job. So it's kind of a take, you know, take it. Or leave All right, it. I'm I'm good. I'm good. But okay. you know what isn't good? Starfield new release date September sixth. Weird that they think that so. That's the now first that you know. Now that you know that it's not coming out until uh -huh. later this year, before or after mm -hmm. Hollow Knight sequel. After. Ooh. That, you think I've it's... already made the bet. I'm already in for a penny. <laughs> wait, Silk Song? We wait, I'm... <laughs> you gotta talk Silk Song. We're talking man. Silk Song. Talk when slower. is Silk Song coming out? Before or after? Before oh, or after, after Starfield? After. I don't. I don't even know where my forty is. Really? Anymore. All right. You lost it. We're gonna see him pull up one of I hope you... baby's bottles here in a second. I'm waiting for Robin to be on the bed behind him and just spike it no, on I the got ground. Penny snoring in my ear. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. She good. deserves a good rest. Uh, so that's uh, it for the news. Unless you guys have any other fun stuff to share, I got Probably some stuff not. to share, Getty. Freebies. Is it freebies? Fue, 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 fue. F -f -f freebies. Insert freebie sound here. Insert freebie sound here. Freebies. 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 Treason over on Steam. This is a boomer shooter, a.k.a. a Doom-like, but it is a multiplayer <laughs> Doom-like where you are playing as mobsters. You discovered by some wise guys there are traitors in the gang. Innocents must gather information in, in order to identify and eliminate the murderers, a.k.a. shooting atomic guns at your friends in multiplayer matches. Let's go. Pew, 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 pew. Next. Uncharted Waters. Origin. Over Pilot on your Steam. ship across uncharted waters and then get into JRPG <laughs> turn-based battles in this uh, it says commemorating 30 years of Uncharted Waters. This is a very old game, as it seems, as it would seem. So, 30 years of Uncharted Waters. Origin is a remake of the original 30-year-old game, I guess. <laughs> and does it say "I no, guess" it looks in there too? Good, actually, <laughs> just the yeah, it looks kind of good though. The the JRPG turn-based combat looks a little like Suikoden PS1 era. Sorry, how did ah, you pronounce okay. that? That's the correct pronunciation. Sweet. Are you sure? Yes. 
Okay, then how, how do you pronounce He's it? He's drunk. Suikoden. <laughs> Suikoden. That's what I said. Be happy I didn't say Sakoden. Is that what he okay. said? That's true. Yeah. Next, Getty. Call of the Seas over on Epic Games Store. Another tale of mystery and love set in the 1930s South Pacific. This is a first-person puzzler. Uh, what looks to be uh, a little bit uh, mist like uh, in gameplay, but looks real pretty. Real pretty first-person puzzler. And exploring this forbidden island. Trying to solve the mysteries. <laughs> Ooh. So forbidden. There. Got a little atmosphere. All right. It just goes to show you, no matter how long you uh, spend time with the news, how long you spend time with the news, nothing really changes. So let's take another break so we can end strong. And we're back, back with the Backlog Blog, where we play games that I never thought would end. That's right, we got games for days here. Games that, I don't, none of these are mine. I'm okay, just pulling okay, this out of my Funny ass. enough, this episode <laughs> is usually written, so it's not the Alex show. I put one game in and then no one else, and other people put stuff in. Because I, I, I play a bunch of games. Sometimes more than you guys. And I just try not to take over. But in this case... Oh, I, I assume oh, you okay, don't want to talk here, about Overwatch. Let me, no, no, no. I was going to say is that in this case... Let me case, also preface this One of the games by saying was that led the, by Big Brother to the podcast, Phil. R.I.P. A.K.A. he just couldn't make it to the show. <laughs> he couldn't make it tonight. He ended up having to take care of the stuff. And I was like, hey, man, I'm, that's okay. I'm sorry that you couldn't make it. He's going to come back. He's going to be back on the show. He might be on the show more frequently, to be fair. But... Uh, one of the do- one of the games was led by him, and then I was like, "Well, I should probably play some of that so that me and him can bounce stuff off of each other." He's he's obviously not here, but I'll tell you guys a little bit about Watch Dogs Legion. No, no, we'll oh, we'll wait for it? Phil. I'll okay, throw right. in something else, <laughs> you but you let tell me us how set Fisher that whole made. Thing up, and I start <laughs> fist pumping, and then you're like, "Wait, no, we're not going to do that, Alex. <laughs> Screw you." No, we're not going to do that. You're going to tell me how a fish is made. What are made. you going to throw in there? Oh, hold on. Let me go into mine then, at least. I did a whole roundup. Let's just do okay. I played How Fish Are Made. <laughs> how Fish Are okay. Made is an indie how are game they made? on Steam. It is a game where you are a fish. And I'm not talking, oh, little cartoon fish. I'm talking about a realized realistic 3d polygonal fish with a weird bug eye that looks like a ps1 level graphical game and you mm. your your controls are move forward it's terrifying flopping flopping and you are just moving through what feels like gross factory surfaces and uh <laughs> you meet other fish who just kind of tell you about the world a little bit where they say that if you move forward throughout the world, uh, you can get to heaven or hell. And you should pick the left way, because the left way is heaven. And then you meet another are you Are you underwater or out of nope. water in this? Out of water. You are flopping. Okay. You were just, like, okay. flopping around. I just, just wanted to make sure, because I, I didn't know if, like, you were flopping in the sea or something like that. No, nope. you were just on the land. And you're not dying or anything. There's no, You're just moving forward, and your character slowly flops slowly flops and uh you meet another fish and he goes so okay so left is heaven but are they telling the truth i was actually told it was right oh shoot and he's like i feel like it's right so maybe we should just go with the right right is heaven and then like you just keep going and and you keep meeting people who kind of keep throwing different pieces of it like i heard the first guy was a liar so let's go this way and you keep getting these these uh, contradicting pieces of information and it starts with people someone saying which decision are you choosing ahead of time so the game initially asks you do you want to go above or below you make that choice then people keep trying to contradict the story to the point that by the end it says okay so which one are you choosing 
And then he goes, are you going to stick with your original answer? Or are you going to let other people's information hinder your choice? And that's, that's like a fun idea. But the, ma- the, the main thing is you flopping around and seeing these weird fish. The game is like 45 minutes. And has a musical number. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> the musical number is sung to you by a parasite. Talking about how we're all going to die. And parasites are just going to eat your body. So you should probably just die. <laughs> and then we can all just be happy because we're going to be eating your body. And it's awesome. Yep. It's really I appreciate awesome. that. And it's a really hyped up like 1920s. There's horns playing and... He's like, like, there's like, a, it's a music video, and I kind of want to show you guys that video when we're done with this podcast because it's just a song, and there's no lyrics. I mean, there are lyrics, but it's not sung, so it's just text at the bottom, so which is like really like we're cutting corners here, but it's like a cool like hip, you know, 1920s horns are playing and like the like top hats are hopping off, and you see like this parasite just like doing little like kicks, you know, kicks like a chorus line kicks and. It's really extravagant, but then they also show close-ups of, of maggots on, on flesh, and you're like, oh, that's gross. But oh. also, they, this little parasite's got a top <laughs> it's kicking like a chorus line. Weird. So there's a lot going on with this game. At the end, you make your choice, and there's two endings. There's a binary choice of left or right, up or down, and you don't know whether your choice is correct or not. I've seen both endings, and it is what it is. What? Did you scum save? You scum save? Uh, well, again, the game's like 45 minutes, so no. I just played the. I just hit the, okay. the the W key and flopped my way forward again. It's a. It's uh, it is if nothing, a wild experiment into what people are willing to do in games. Just to kind of like, hey, I don't know, fish, and hey, binary <laughs> choice that people are gonna mess with, and. I, I think that is really cool. What it, Joel, I, I I want you to I want to hear your point of view on this now because it's just so out there as an art artistic prospect. Let's see here. How fish are made. No. How fish is made. Well, then somebody wrote that wrong. You put R. Is it up and then left or right and down and <laughs> left or right? So shouldn't there be like four endings? Well, again, no, no, it's not. It's either left right. or right choice. And you don't know which way takes you to heaven or hell. And the idea is people are constantly until the double, end where double it says... talking themselves into like, like, you know, that guy maybe was a liar or maybe, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe I should go with the right way. The right way's heaven. You know what? You're right. Right way's heaven. You so know, you... the price is right. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying is that, Joel, what do you think of this idea? I think it's weird and unique, and that makes me curious to try it. Yeah. I think that the musical number is worth it. I can send you the YouTube link for the musical number if you just want to supersede 45 minutes. But at the same time, I just think that, like, this, you, it, the very start, you make a binary choice. Left is heaven, right is hell. You pick it, and then throughout, people make you question your choice. And then at the end, they give you that same choice again. And I think that's like... Oh, it's just like yeah. regular life. I like that idea. <clears throat> I like the fact that it's just that. Flat out, make your choice. Move <laughs> forward. And then it's like, was your choice right or wrong? I'm going to I'm gonna tell you. Ooh, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. yeah. I like feeling bad. It feels bad <laughs> either way because you don't know what the other option was. In this case, you can find out what the other option was. And when let me tell you, when you find out what the other option was, you say... Okay. <laughs> okay. Equal. <laughs> Equal. Huh? Equal. They're, hey, Joel, or Getty, it's life. Both are bad. <laughs> Equally like, is it's bad. It's all perspective. It's all perspective. <laughs> it's all perspective. And it's cool. All like right. That. And I, th- I, I don't remember where this came up. I don't know how I found this. I have a list. I always have a running doc. There was a... There was a joke when I was last year when I was doing the beat list where I was like, here's a master list of like 30 games that I can knock out in a single sitting. And if I really wanted to weaponize the beat list, I'm just going to go through as you did destroy all of these games. It's always a weapon. This This was actually just like I've been meaning to check this out. And I was like, well, I got, you know, a little bit of break at work, my lunch break. I'm going to throw this on there. So throw it on the steam deck. Yep. How fish is made. Put the audio on. 
play 45 minutes, make a binary choice, and enjoy that musical number. All right, if I'm rambling, I finish by 40 on the break. I've already opened my eyes. Okay, you, you did the thing? How fish is made. Everyone should check it out. All right, so... <clears throat> There's not a lot of time commitment. I have a couple of a couple of things that I could talk Give about then. Give me something then. good, Getty. Give me something, something good. good and song. <laughs> Tell me that you love wow. me. <laughs> nope, we shouldn't be singing anything on Twitch. I know part of the Twitch. binary choice we're on. Uh, <laughs> Is this so. the worst timeline, Joel? Is it? Well, we we've known that for no. It, it could be way worse. <laughs> it could be way worse. Don't, let's not even get started. Film theory about who the ass crack bandit is from Community. <laughs> okay, so thank you for sharing that. But I I did finish Pokemon Scarlet, so I could talk to Alec about it since he's here this week. However, I don't want to ruin it. It was very satisfying it it was when I got to the end. But I think we'll probably. <laughs> table that for a little bit because it gets kind of crazy towards the end i believe that something that i have not talked about and i've already been playing for like 45 hours so far this year is star ocean and you guys played it as a beta got, to, or a demo at, when town, it first right? came out yeah. divine yeah mm -hmm. divine forces so in the demo that you guys played i'm sure that it was much wackier from a regular Star Ocean game because of the Duma, which is this backpack that attaches to you and it allows you to fly from place to place. Yep. Yes. Did you did you get like any background when it had the demo, or was it just like here's some regular content drops? No, you right it in the went middle. through the story. It went through the full like it was the intro story, which is actually kind of for me as a big Star Ocean person. Like it was, you know, the very intro beginning visual where they actually say like, like your character is like on the spaceship with this crew and all of a sudden like, oh no, that's a Kenny mm -hmm. ship. Oh, Kenny. No, don't mess with the Kennys. And then you just get destroyed. Cause, um, yeah. So the Federation ships are, uh, you got the Federation, which is this big interplanetary uh, group and they're always policing the galaxy to making sure nobody breaks the uh, 3P like the Pangalactic Protection Act, whatever the fuck and, it's uh, called. And just for reference, the Doesn't Kennys matter. are a family that are basically the mainstays for the store for the first two games, the place the SNES yeah. and the PlayStation game. It permeates through uh, you run into them here and there. So <clears throat> once you get the real meat and potatoes of the game, you start to get going. It feels disjointed in a lot of spots, but I think Alex and I had a previous conversation. It's not the worst Star Ocean out there. And I appreciate that. Is the story completely up its own ass? <laughs> of course. Because that's what Star Ocean games are. Ever since 3, they've been so far up their own asses that it's not even funny. Can you elaborate a tad bit on what you mean by that? Sure. Star Ocean 3, turns out it was all a Your video game simulation. A okay. Fair. <laughs> That's yeah. why I got. I, I played like, that, th like ten hours, and I was like, I don't know if I should keep going. And then like I re I googled it, and I was like, Ah, oh, no, <laughs> done. <laughs> After that, it's always it usually follows the same pattern. You are normally playing as somebody, and this is the first on, one on, in I'll my say, recent say. memory where you're able to choose from a person who mm -hmm. is from the planet. Or a person that is not from the planet. So Star Ocean Two well, hold on, did hold the on. same so, thing. So Joel, where you could play as the that Federation <laughs> that the, the yeah, yeah. he's hijacking the this segment. The Federation rules is that <laughs> if you were to go to a undeveloped planet, underdeveloped you're not planet, to bring you cannot their own progress. Technology to mess with them, you have to right. let them develop their technology the way they are going to. And generally, what happens is your main character is part of a an advanced nation that accidentally gets stranded on an underdeveloped planet hmm. and the only way that he can get off is hanging out with the hanging out with the locals and end up teaching them about more advanced technology on accident so again pulling it back in the first game you play as people from the planet and 
other people from space show up. The fucks Kenny, everything up. The the, the main dad. And the second the one. Dad, the second one. His son gets stranded. <laughs> this just sounds like when people yes. accidentally bring animals not to their non natural habitats and they end up breeding and yes. becoming yeah. pests. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's exactly what the Star like Ocean that, series but... is kind of about. It's about. It's generally trying to deal with people bre- like having to break those rules even when they don't want to. Okay. All right. Good. But this story in the combat, it is good in most ways, and I want to say that in normal combat in a Star Ocean game, you can just cycle your regular attacks, and then you would have magic points, skill points, whatever, that would limit you from using your special abilities. In this one, every type of move move that you do, it drains your AP, your action points, but in the beginning of the game, you don't have a good way to get action points, so you only have, like, four. And you, you have, like, nothing you can do. You just chaining the same attack over and over again. As you go further, you get a character that gives you more, so you have a full bar, and it feels fantastic. You're able to chain attacks, do all kinds of crazy shit, but overcoming that challenge from the beginning of the game to the end, it it gets a little rough. And staying at ends, that doesn't help your situation because it just resets your action point bar. The characters are enjoyable. There's good banter. There's good private interactions that you can have with them. So I appreciate that. The story, again, too ridiculous. You are a character that gets shot down onto this planet, and then you start to come across other aliens who are also on this planet, but they're instituting, like, crazy stuff in another kingdom to try and bring everyone to war. Man, why? It just seems so ridiculous. And then... As it gets even further along, I'm like, why do they even care? It, this planet seems completely useless. <laughs> There's so no is purpose it to do this. Is is like cartoonishly bad, or is it just underdeveloped? The what? The antagonists and their motivations. It, it's not that they're bad. I. It's not. Maybe they explained it in some of the 15 hours of exposition that I sat through. But more or less, these people are here on the planet, whether they got shot down or some some combination of plot hole A or B, but they run into the king from this one town, this one area, and they're like, hey man, you should hang out with us. And he's like, sure, I'll assimilate. And it's a whole thing. He's trying to assimilate the rest of the planet, but it's not really clear why he cares Except now it's it, it's just so ridiculous. It's not as bad as some of the tropes, but it doesn't seem that life needs to be this complicated. Can, can I suggest <laughs> Tales of Arise? It's, you can, but I probably won't play it. Just it just feels like a little bit of a better version. No. Because the Duma, the thing that allows you to fly around, it breaks the game but they want okay. you to break the game that, that is different so for sure last thing that i want to say this has my favorite feature of any game a dedicated side game that you can play inside of it this one it's isoa and you collect isoa pieces by defeating other people and it's a grid you drop your piece on the board and then your opponent does and they shoot attacks at each other it's so ridiculous. I probably spent eight hours playing just this portion of the game. It's you don't need to do it, but I've done it. More or less convoluted <laughs> than triple triad. More, and it gets more fun than that because it's not that they introduce new rules, but the boards get bigger and bigger, and the pieces that you obtain by defeating other players are the characters from other Star Wars yeah. games. Yeah! Continuity! But then, then I don't know how they know these other characters, which just makes it so so stupid. But you'll get like somebody who has a hero character, and they drop it on the board, and each turn its power goes up and up and up. And there's very few ways 
to remove it from the board. So it's like uh, a less enjoyable version of chess. <laughs> and chess is already like not fun yeah. to play. So take it for what you will. But I need to defeat one more person to get the trophy. And I don't know where that person is. So I, I think I'm near nice. the end. I could be wrong. All right, now, that's, hold on. that's my I, bet. I do wanna, I'm sorry I do for... I want to interject here, Getty. Not about Star Ocean. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, no, I'm going to no, add, no. I'm gonna add a third game, but it's going to be short. Uh, no. Yeah, it's real short. Alex. It's real short. <laughs> real quick. No. No, no it's I'm real quick. cutting you off. No, because I'm You're almost done off. with the Twisted Ice Tea already. Okay. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about, real quick, um, the uh, Hard Space Shipbreakers. Real quick. Oh, God. No, I just want to talk about I was having a real tough time. My la one last thing last week was I was having a real tough time with hard space shipbreakers. I found the technique that I needed to do. You kept do, blowing up. And I just wanted to talk about how amazing yeah. it is. Okay. I have a jet engine <laughs> that is surrounded by... Uh, Can we make this his one last thing? Do you guys care? It's like one last thing to me. Machinery, right? <laughs> yeah. Machinery, jet engine. But the problem is that it's all tied to fuel lines. So if I nick the fuel lines, they have a timer that'll blow up. So what I have to do is I create tethers to the jet engine. So it's pulling at the jet engine. I cut all the fuel lines. It automatically, because I have these tethers, yanks the engine out. I run in and disconnect the fuel line. And that's what the game requires you to do. And I just want to say that that's really ridiculous. You it's just you really ridiculous it that the game wants what, is what it wants you to do. <clears throat> is that more or less what it would take from an engineering yes. standpoint? and I'm saying is that it's ridiculous that that's what you have to do. You have to, like, run in, cut so the fuel lines. if you had spent the time in college to be an engineer instead yep. of a psych major, you would have known that this is how you break down the spaceship. talking about someone's feely feelings, yes. All I'm hearing is that you to put hard space <laughs> shipbreakers on your resume. Yep. Cutting fuel lines could, and yeah. ejecting uh, jet engines. It's really friggin' cool to watch it work where all of a sudden, like, oh, I cut the lines. Quick, there's flames everywhere, but the jet engine just evacuates. Okay, run in, hit the hit the gas line, and cut off the, the fuel. Okay, perfect. Nailed it. You know what else you nailed? What's that? Our our no. one last thing. My one did you last see what I did this week? But let's go. <laughs> one last thing brought to you by Drink Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> Use code Good Game at checkout for ten percent off your order. Hashtag Getty. ad. Oh, Close loop. <laughs> wow. Close loop. All right, everybody. <laughs> What, what are we at with our numbers? <laughs> what do you want here? from me? Because I have finished the 40. What numbers? I have finished my Red Bull. I finished my Monaco. And I'm almost done with this Twisted Ice Tea. Where's everybody at with our numbers? Alec. Getty I'm at 44. Number. What? 44. 44. Getty, where you at? That's 84. 40. Joel, what are you at? 50. Oof. 50. All right, so that's... I need someone to do math for me. <laughs> 134. Okay. Now, yeah. I have finished a 40. That's 174. All right. I have finished 20. It's 184. And I'm about to finish this 24 ounce of tea. And that will get us to where we need to be for 200 ounces. Well, Alex, you're in luck because I'm going to go first. <clears throat> <laughs> That'll give you enough time to pound that. I'm almost and done. I apologize. I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine what the voice version of this podcast will seem like to people uh, at this point. All right. <clears throat> Finished. So, my one last thing this week <laughs> is that I successfully made it through Pokemon Scarlet. I believe it took me around 40 ish hours, maybe a little bit more. Uh, feel Isn't very accomplished. Have start. Uh, I haven't started to do any of it yet. I transitioned because I feel like I might be close to finishing Star Ocean, along with Destiny 
And then one of my Kickstarters finally showed up. Which one? Yeah. So hopefully this weekend, after Dungeons and Dragons on yes. Saturday, and I recover from the time change, uh, I'm hoping to play some Romance Sylvania. Oh, nice. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. I'm very proud to have uh, kickstarted that game, and I will definitely look forward to seeing Eric Giddy Gettinger in Sick. the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, uh, I've off, I'm fresh off of two reviews uh, for Nintendo World Report, and that means yeah, I was gonna say that means I could play games I want to play again instead of Session <laughs> Skater Sim Skate Sim for the Switch. That shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up this we're we're not about that, that on this podcast. That version's not good for Switch. Okay, go. all right. All right, so don't check out the Switch it's port. Good, it's not a good port, man. Joel? There's a bet. Don't, don't port stuff that's bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Vampire Survivors update. I did finish off the achievements, so I've 100%ed that. It's been quite a while since I've done one of those. Uh, and now I just want to know what to do with all that gold that I can't spend anything on with it. Just 999999 across the board at the top. I'm sure it seems the like a waste. Steel get you, get you there. <laughs> One of these days. All right, Alec. I am looking forward to D and D, and you know, Metroid Prime. That's what my weekend's going to look like. Weren't you already playing Metroid Ooh. Prime? I was. I'm only about a third of the way through, though. Okay. It's a long no, game. No, that's okay? fair. I just didn't know if it was like, oh, you're just getting around to starting it. No. Yeah, I'm like a third of the way through. I have the various suit. I've got the thermal visor. I've got the ice beam. There so I go. need another That's what visor. I want, Alec. I want some updates. Where you at? I got, a, I got the x-ray <laughs> visor to get. I've got the Sick. plasma beam to get. Cool. And I've got gravity and phase on suits to oh, get. Oh, you still. know you got to get that phase on suit. Got to get that phase on suit. <laughs> I've never played these games. Sounds cool. <laughs> All right, are we are we good? Phil's not here, so nobody scrubbed him from the end of the episode. Phil. I love you, buddy. <clears throat> <laughs> shout out to Phil, who is in fact <laughs> not, dead, not dead, even I, though Alex said R.I.P. Oh, oh we are saving good Watch God, God I'm Legion so sorry, him, Phil. So that we can discuss it. I have played t- like yeah. seven hours of that game this week just so I could talk about it with him. <laughs> it's a good game. You were super pumped on that game when it got announced. It's too. funnier because like I can, you know, uh, Phil. Didn't you want to play as an old lady and like shank and a dude? Uh, the, the other part is that I also <laughs> Phil hasn't wised up to hide his steam his steam stuff going on. So every once in a while, I'm like at work and we're both working, and then all of a sudden I see. Phil is playing Watch Dog Legion, and I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Hartwig would do when we were podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> I called him out on that. Fair, okay. we're on a lot of long <clears throat> conference calls that we don't need to be on, so it's very funny to see his, it pop well, up, and I'm well, like, oh, yeah, okay. That's fair, buddy. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I am a conference call, so. All right. That'll be it for this week's Super GG Radio. Before we go, you can find us on Twitter at Super GG Radio and twitch.tv slash Super GG Radio, where, guys, I don't know okay. what's going on here. Alex so, is playing his uh, backlog on the Mondays. We're still going strong Monday, with Dragon Ball yeah. Z Kakarot. We're getting that Cell Saga. Vegeta is so thirsty. Tuesday. So thirsty. Tuesday is skater what about and show we in that beta branch we in that beta branch which means we're doing all sorts of weird grabs we're all in the weird grabs that's been introduced and that's real strange we're wall riding everything uh then we have wednesdays which is joel vampire surviving finishing up those uh all of those steam achievements joel how's it feel to have all those steam achievements i feel mostly empty inside now nice what's next i uh I gotta dip back to Disco Elysium. <laughs> okay, let's knock out Disco Elysium. Thursdays is our podcast. Sounds so sad about it. We are it. streaming our podcast as long as Alec is around. 
Alec, I am working on getting you that Steam that Stream Deck. We're going to make that happen. I am negging fools. It is disrespectful. Now, Saturdays, Joel is going to be streaming. Joel, what are you streaming for? Our Twitch stream on we're, Saturdays. We're, we're trying to rev up uh, Escape Academy here. So. Okay, we're getting back into Escape Academy. Getty, I'm handing this segment back over to you. No, I like your drunk energy. <laughs> it was totally worth it. <laughs> it's BDE, baby. Oh, man. I, I have absolutely finished all of my Big drinks. drunk energy. I have finished. What was the number I was at? I was at 40. Alex, you are overserved, <laughs> and we are out of here. Plus this Monaco. <laughs> Wait, don't let him math. 12. <laughs> he's he's okay, just dragging this on. You go and get it. <laughs> okay. If you'd like to reach us with questions or input, our email address is mail at superggradio.com and provide us a review on iTunes or the podcast app of your choice. <laughs> That's a weird app, but okay. Thanks for listening. Good okay. game, Alex. Good day, GG Joel. And good G-G. game, Alec. <laughs>